morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Santa Guy and welcome back to Sally Face. We're moving on into episode 4. Um, we kind of got into it last time, we started it off a small bit. Um, but now we're going to do the whole thing. This one's called The Trial, I think? Oh wait, no, go back. Let me talk to the Lamia. What's Beelzebub? Who are you? I am Lord Beelzebub. Oh, really? Is there like the devil or something? No. It is a nickname bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough, indeed. Can I get into that door? You've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. I've been working on it for a really long time. It's impressionism, do you like it? Your art? Yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. So I'm not allowed to look at five. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. So don't go to five. Am I going through the doors in that way? Music's weird. It sounds like someone breathing in my ear holes. Um, okay, you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub! Lord Beelzebub! Okay, bubs. Be right back. Okay, so don't look at five, and of the remaining you must- of the remaining four you must look at three. Well, I can't even go into five even if I wanted to. Um... Okay, oh god. Trapanrot! I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost. Then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love, and everything was perfect, until it all fell apart again, and now there is only pain! Life's rough all around, you know? We all got through our hardships. Okay, is that your art? Is there any indication if I'm doing it right? Okay. Looks like NP. No problem. Or nobody's perfect. Hi, eyeball man. There was a knock at the door. Ding dong. That's not a knock. And I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly it forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. Okay. Moving on. Delightful fella. Oh god, shiny happy faces. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams and then everything was black. As I said, life's rough all around. We're all going through our troubles. Good to see you guys. Okay. DF? These kind of look like um, Nordic symbols. It's locked. Oh, fuck. So one was that. That was in the first room. No, actually, that was in the first room. Was this in the second room? I don't fucking know, man. Okay, wait, let's go look at the art again. Art. Okay, so N. P. This is how I'm going to remember them. Just by what they look like, not what they actually are. Is this the faces? Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, we will be suit. Yes, cool. NP. DF. Just want to see what all of them are. NP, DF. Lightning Star. 
NPDF Lightning Star. Cool. Um. It's so. N. P. D. F. Lightning. Shit. Um. That's the only symbol in this one that was in the first room. That's the only symbol that was in the second room. And this is the only symbol that was in the third room. Shit. Knock knock. Okay, okay. Fucking relaxo, Jesus. Sorry. Peering eyes, they are filled with regret and sorrow. Their sins. They are in a lot of pain. No. They are heartbroken. How? Did I do it? How? Oh. I was right! Okay. <laughs> Trust my brain. Where am I right now in this game? Also, I have sour cherry tea and it's quite delightful. Because this is a lot of talking and reading. You gotta protect your throat. Love this show. I love this channel. It's great. Uh, this one I'm not a fan of. This one went way downhill after season three. All glory to the Hypno Toad. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Oh, good. I have no VCRs. Okay, now we're teenage Sally. Yeah, I love the music. Also, I love the fucking um <laughs> the. Blade Runner poster, but also the My Neighbor Totoro poster. That's cool. Huh. Where's my cell phone? Dadams? Are we still in the same place? Go to the bathroom first. Okay, I don't have anything in my inventory anymore. I don't have my, my ghosty goo. So wait, this much time has passed since the Bologna incident, or as people kept telling me, it's baloney. Which, I knew they were talking about baloney, I knew they were talking about the meat, but I never once have ever seen, it was, it just occurred to me that I had never once seen how people spelled baloney. Like people saying, oh that's baloney, or I like baloney meat kind of thing, and I've eaten baloney meat. But I've never known that that's how you guys spelled baloney. So I just kept saying it as Bologna, like the place in Italy. Wait, did I just try and go into the basement? What did it say? I didn't try and go into the basement. What am I doing? Oh, They have a cat named Gizmo! That was the name of my dog! Well, my family's dog. Hey, Gizmo! Dude, really? Why do I keep getting these stickers? I just love that the cat is an agreed-upon person. Ah, oh, that's cool! There's some YouTuber, um, icons in there. That's really sweet of them to do. Um, the developers are a really nice person. I can see Manly Badass Hero, I can see Ken, John Wolf, I can see Swing Point. What are the ones I can see? Some of them are really small. Aw, oh, that's cool. Good job, developer. Ha <laughs> They'll appreciate that whenever they play the episode. Actually, a lot of them have probably played the episode before I have, so... It's always nice to see you whenever a, a developer appreciates when a, when YouTubers play their games. Because there's a lot of developers that don't appreciate when YouTubers play their games, so... That's nice. Uh, front door? No, I don't want to go that way yet. This is not the same house. Hi. Is this my house? Neil! Morning, Sally-o! What's happening? Hey, Neil! 
No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. Heh, <laughs> yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Yeah, I'm alright. Have you been sleeping okay? Heard you get up a few times last night. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. I know you're not a big fan, but you should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. I guess I am feeling a little tired. <laughs> not a problem, Salio. Okay, so am I just like rooming with some people? Now the question is, do I go out the front door or the under door? The basement door? It's so bright outside. Okay. I guess I'm not going out that way. I go out the basement, like the nocturnal vampire I am. I like that you have a GameCube as well. Represent. <sighs> What's up, kitty cat? Why is it not too bright outside here, but it's too bright outside back there? We just updated the lock and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. One, two, three. Four. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going code hunting, I guess. Cat, have you? Is there any code on these stickers? No. Um. I don't think I've seen any numbers lying around. Or it might not even be numbers. It might just be a certain... Oh! A very own local mystery. In other news, Knockfell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of employment for our small town since 1934. Okay. This is the third time. 1934. Got it. This is the third time the building has caught fire. Though, never have we seen... Okay, I'm gonna I'm a skip this just so I can keep the code in my head. 1934. My brain don't work no good. 1934, 1934, 1934. It's probably not even that. But that's the first numbers I've been given. We also get to find out what happens to Todd in this episode. Okay. That's fine. We'll figure it out. What's up, kitty cat? Wait. You just gonna say the same thing? Cool. Cat's a big fan of YouTubers, apparently. Hmm. Maybe this guy knows something. Oh, I can talk to him. Have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks. I didn't realize I left it outside. <laughs> No worries. Happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Ah, oh, sweet. I got my phone. Um, why did I leave it on the porch? Was I out drinking? Where's Todd? He has class this morning. Alright. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish, uh... I mean, yeah, slow. It's been slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I'm two years older than y'all, too. No, I know, it's just that we- Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. Heh. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a no on the excitement then. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs. Calling your name, Sally Face, come get some! Do you hear the strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV. <laughs> I like that it's just a given that Gizmo is just this creature that hangs out and watches TV and bathes and watches YouTubers. No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Ugh, never mind. Probably just a nightmares. 
gosh, man. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Ah, shoot! Work! I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Huh. Gotta run, Sally. I'll catch you later. No, oh, okay. There's a note from Todd to me. Ah! Here's the new code 4035364. Okay. Naisu. It didn't say I could pick up a note though. It didn't say like note from Todd like it does when you go by some other rooms. See, I can go into this one as well, but it's not telling me I can go into it. That's a little weird. I'm just gonna have to press space on everything then. Like this one says Sal's room, but this one doesn't. I guess it's. It's kind of cool. I'll just press space on everything as I'm walking by it. Let me go past my my cat again. What's up, Gizmo? You busy watching everybody? Oh, and there's Gloom's one above Ken's. And Gab's one. Oh, underneath John's. Girl Gamer Gab's one. And cup is that? Tiffany's Cupquake? Oh, nice. Oh, I do recognize more of them. Some of the some of the pictures I know, but I can't think of the names of the, the channels. That's nice. Um, okay. What was my code? It's it's also the reason I like it is because it's nice to see a developer embrace the YouTube culture because it's like it's, it's YouTube culture as well that helps like promote games and sell games and show off games and like share the community of a game with some other people. So it's nice when they embrace it. 4035364. Boom Boomski! Can't believe you've been working on this for five years now. Feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it, it all makes. Cut to the, the Charlie Day gift from, um, It's Always Sunny, where he's at the board and he's like, It all makes sense! <laughs> this is what, um, what antiseptic eye theorists' boards at home must look like. Is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they all? Oh, I got a VHS. Huh. What's this loose tape? Okay, Phantom. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it. Like a distant memory, itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It f flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom. Just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the land of the living? I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Cool. Um, I also love that the TV is called a panic box. <laughs> <laughs> Workstation. It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for new equipment. When he found out we, what we were up to, he basically thought we were real-life ghost nabbers. You can't say Ghostbusters. Okay, so what did that do? Well, maybe Todd's home from class now. Or somebody else is in the house. Ah, oh, what's up, Giz? <laughs> Little Gizmo. Nice shit you did, Giz! Proud of you. Anybody else home? Can I go out the front door now? No. Well, okay then. Oh wait, maybe I can just use my phone. There we go. The battery is dead. I'll have to charge it first. Okay. <laughs> Back to my room we go. Phone charger. Phone charger. I'll check back in a minute. See? I've already done all the things. Ooh. Nice, okay. Um, so some of these masks are familiar. Like the one at the top right is the, the oh, I can't remember their names. From um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Short fat one and the long skinny one. Can't remember their names, it's been a while. 
Um, the one in the top middle and the bottom middle kind of look like Slipknot masks. Well, just a generic clown mask. But the top one definitely looks like, um, oh, what's his name? Long nose. Gone out of my head. It's been a while since I interacted with Slipknot. Looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Jesus Christ, old phones charge fast. Are you awake? I am now, what's up? <laughs> it says Horizon instead of Horizon. Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Other than ghosts and creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. Ready. <laughs> It's like, in a, in a few minutes, I got shit to do. Okay, text me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready now. That was good. The knocking on the door and the gavel. Oh, yes. Okay, I want to see what happened because I'm actually strangely, like, into this now. This all seems to be a dramatic change from the original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? So Sally Fisher? Yes. So, you admit to lying in your original statements? Yes, I was in shock from what had happened and thought that, that the truth would be more harmful. No one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? Oh god, lawyer talk. Everything in like lawyer speak, everything when you're dealing with a contract or anything got to do with lawyers, you have to be so fucking specific about what you're saying. Because anything you say can be used in a court of law, of course. But even like in business contracts that I've ever had to do for YouTube stuff, you have to be so fucking specific in what you're saying just in case people end up buying the rights to your whole soul. Or, like, you sign the contract, it's like, okay, all done. It's like, well, now we own your teeth. It's like, I'm sorry, what? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say, whether they believe it or not. Well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Nockville? That all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were some elaborate cover-up. Created by who? The county police department? Please don't tell me that Todd dies and I'm being framed for it. Because they're building up this, that something happened to Todd. If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue with my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically. In order to prevent details from being taken out of context. Well, more so than they already have been. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at his little pink cheeks. <laughs> Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher, but r realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Woo! It's all kicking off. This is fun! I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? Oh, did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. Though who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling, like something under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. Huh. What? Deja vu! I just been in this place before! <laughs> I've been getting that feeling too. Like, everything is foggy and there's something there. Just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes! Exactly! Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So, are you gonna come check it out or what? Of course I will. Oh. Should we get Todd? He has class today. 
Salvation Road. Oh, he's Kaisei. Oh, alright. I was hoping you'd have a new gadget or something. He's been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not to mess with it. <laughs> Hopefully it works better than that box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. Knockville Homes. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. So, you all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over the weekend. It'll be nice to finally get out of that basement. Cool. Todd said we can use... The van, too. Sweet. Yeah. Phelps Ministry. God sees all. What a pervert. Does God not have anything better to do than stare at me all day? Looks like you're right about that storm. Literally a storm rolling in. Alright. Let's do this. Right behind you. Okay. Todd, looking good with that long hair and scruffy chin, my dude. Can we check the mail? No. Mr. Addison's been storing this stuff in here so long, I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest is like old codes, old tea sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old junk. Larry! What? You snooped through Terence's things? <laughs> well, yeah, dude, how could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. <laughs> okay, fair enough, I guess. Okay, is that it? Wait, it's, it's been a while, and I can't remember who lives in each apartment. Is Terence the guy whose face, like, zipped open in one of the episodes? The, the chunky dude who was sitting in the chair? Next time you plan on doing some nosing around, make sure you let me know. Heh, <laughs> will do. No, wait, no, I don't want to click on Larry again. I want to leave. So everyone should be older now, right? Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay, how about you? Or are we like the same age, but I just don't have my pigtails in? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear- Oh no, it said five years later, never mind. Our dear F Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. He'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of the basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now, and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Oh no, that's Terrence. What are you talking about? Again, it's been a while. Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Addison still thinks that she's on vacation or something and she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, did she die? I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right. I remember you saying that. She was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them. Or tried to stop them. Which would have made her super old. I think she was a witch. <laughs> that would make sense. Though, if she had powers, why would Rosenberg just mope around this little apartment? Maybe she was too old, or maybe she would just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting into all kinds of trouble. Heh, <laughs> I know you would. Oh, Is that a tooth? Huh. What is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude! You picked it up with your bare hand? I'm just gonna leave it here. What if we need it for something? What would we possibly need someone's tooth for? Put it under a pillow and get five dollars. Hi, I'm Sally Face and this is my friend Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockville, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. Yeah, exactly. We can get a DNA test on the tooth. Okay, we have tooth number two of five and it has an E on it, okay. Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Ugh. Why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson. We were... 
Okay. Well, that's about power for the course. That lady sure can't hold a grudge. What the fuck did we do? Besides, look, dashing and solve crime murders. All right. This is uh, Todd's place, right? Oh, God. Sally Face and Larry Bear. This is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey. What brings you two here? Just saying hi. Hello! <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. What happens if I say- Oh, I can't say we're searching for ghosts anymore. Did those boys just go into the bathroom together? <laughs> Greg? Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything in the Super Gear Boy either. Oh yeah! I can't take that out anymore. I got a key card. Lisa gave me. You can use this to access the basement. Why do I certainly just have that now? Toothy! Another tooth? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something. A tooth I found on the second floor. It's all burned up. Dang. So that's letter three. So maybe with the rest of them we can do process of elimination and figure out a word. Jesus. Hi, Ray. Hey, guys. Larry, are you back for more already? Nah, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Are you growing weed? Hey, Mr. Morrison. Sal, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? It's a bit much. Ha! <laughs> Always a big jokester, this guy. That's why we love you, Sal. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Aw. He's lucky to have such loving parents. And such good friends. I'm damn proud of all you boys. Damn proud. Aw, thanks, Ray Ray! What a nice compliment. It's always nice to hear that someone's proud of you. <clears throat> Man, still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Dun, dun. Oh god, I can't. Why not? The fucking piece of shit is still in the toilet. Ew. Is the goat's head and everything still in here as well? Oh. The free freezer's gone. Getting any readings on this gear boy? Nope. Even your little goat buddy is hiding. Oh man. I wanted to hear that bah, 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 bah. What fucking watch? I get it, it's time to stand up. Whoa. Everything's everything's so empty in this room now. This is the life support machine. I don't know what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Huh. There's a tear in the carpet here. I can't pull it up by hand, though. Okay, maybe we'll find a toothy in there. I should have known these guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place out overnight with just the two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died, too. I saw them leaving in the morning. <laughs> I saw them, too, remember? Yeah. Maybe that's why they came overnight. Because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No. But I could have sworn I saw one of them going into the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye on it every day now. They've been... They've been having a lot of meetings over there. They're, that's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot. Could be nothing, or could be something. That church did always give me... Give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there, just to check it out. Cool. I'm down for some good old B and E. B and E? Breaking and entering, Sal. Breaking and entering. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Me too, buddy boy. Wait. So do I have to go find something that's going to be able to pull up the carpet somewhere else? Possibly. Unless I... I don't really have some. Pull it up with your phone. Of 
Can we go back into the weird, creepy ritual dungeon? Hmm. Pocket knife. Score. Nice! That could come in handy. Okay, maybe we can use that to pull up the carpet. I'm gonna go check the room on the right, though, before we go back in there. Just so I cover everything. Did you see on the news that they said Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely the cult has him, or killed him. Maybe they ended up in Bologna. Or Bologna, sorry. Ugh, as much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into Bologna. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. Poor Charlie. Okay, there's not a whole lot in here. Good, nice context though. It's nice to go back in and out of the rooms and try and get a feel for the apartments. Because in the first couple of episodes, I was like, you don't really get attached to the apartments, so now that we're like, like three and a bit episodes in, it's like, ah, the apartments really mean a lot in this series. Oh wait, it wasn't here, it wasn't here, what am I doing? Was it bedroom one or bedroom two? Bedroom one. Yeah. There we go. Cut that shit up! There's a keypad. Okay. I'm putting it. Whoa! That was weird. I just put in a bunch of ones and it went to minus 217 million. Okay, so we need a code for that. I don't think we're going to find the code here. Let's just keep searching the apartments. Let's see what else we can find around. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, where am I going? I'm so fucking... My brain's all over the place. Uh, hey Sal. Hey Larry. What are you up to? Hey David. We were just checking in with everyone. How are things going? It's awfully kind of you, but I'm afraid I can't talk, talk much at the moment. It's serious and feeling well, you see. So I, I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. I hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thank yous. Thank yous both. Sarah's a mannequin. I, I'm sure whatever she has, she'll be fine. Hello, CJ. Yo, what's up, guys? Yo. Hey, CJ. Are you having a party tonight or something? No, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You do should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. Oh, dude, that's pretty fucking dope. I realize I I gave Larry that kind of like stoner dude voice a while ago, and I kind of want to keep with it. Oh, you guys a couple? Hey guys. Hi Sal. Uh, hey Larry. Oh, a little baby! Did you guys have a kid? Sowie face? Sowie false? Chug and maple sitting in a tree. F U C K I N G. Making a B A B Y. Hey guys. Yo! Er, yo! I keep forgetting whose voices I'm doing. You do look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see some things stay the same. Oh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? Wouldn't be a secret if we told you now, would it? Hmm, I suppose not. How are you two? We're good, you know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Mostly. Yeah. How have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay. Keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out. They left a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me, I'm supposed to give my parents- I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. 
Are you okay to watch soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course! You guys notice anything weird? Nope! It's been nice and goes free! No spooky stuff for us! Mm, let's hope it stays that way. See ya. Soda. I love that you called your kid Soda. Hey, Soda. How's my best baby doing? <laughs> Wanna go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal. She's a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love? I want to ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders. Uh -oh. Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning. Oh, okay. Aw, oh, don't worry, little so. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. He <laughs> promise? I promise. You bet. <laughs> oh, and that little Furby, too. And a character from fucking Fraggle Rock, it looks like. Why is this open? Hello? Oh, Toothy Boy! The tooth will set you free. Dude, no. S. So something E, something S. Something E, something S. Fleas! No, feelies. Feelis. Felices. I don't fucking know. We probably shouldn't bother him for now. Oh, David. I wonder if we get to see Travis again. Oh, wait, I was just in here. Wait, how did I go in this room and not. Did I check this one? God. Why can I not focus today? What is wrong with me? Uh, that was three. My brain is elsewhere. I have a lot of stuff coming up and I... I'm just having a hard time focus, sorry. That's my dad! With... With Lisa! With Larry's mom! Were they always together? Hey dad. Hey Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple of weeks ago? <laughs> Sal. We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa is going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Bitch, lasagna, bitch, lasagna. Uh, sorry. Not that Lisa's a bitch. Lisa's a lovely woman. Mmm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight. But if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we love Larry. Instant message you. Or whatever you kids do, once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. <laughs> right, right. That. Sounds good. Man, that's nice. They weren't always together in the old, older episodes, were they? They finally got together. Or, uh, finally. I mean, Dad finally got with somebody. And that must mean that whatever Lisa was going through, that it's, it's fixed. Or healed, or... Better. I like that. They make a cute couple. Okay, literally can't do anything else in this place. That's a pretty tube. Robert's place. The evil bread. <laughs> okay, this is a weird, freaky place. Hey, hey! There's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? It's dead around here. None of the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We aren't sure yet, but we're looking into it. I see. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Anything at all? I keep giving some of the characters the same voice, like, Hey! How's it going, dude? <laughs> how's it going, dude? <laughs> the fucking, what's his name? Was it Frank from House Party? Oh, how's it going, dude? Well, I got this weird lump on my left butt cheek, but if you guys take a look... Whoa! I don't know if we really qualify to do that. Ha! I'm just fucking with you. My bottom is as smooth as butter. 
Heh. <laughs> but er. Ha. Huh. Larry, you fucking goofball. Keep me posted, fellas. Will do, Robbo. Is that. Is that lotion and tissues on the on your side desk? No, I can't really ju judge you, Robbie. Oh God. Hi, Mr. Sanderson. Oh, sorry. We didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson. Hi, Larry. I was just getting saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye. I'm leaving Knockfell tonight. I just, I I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. We've been through a lot. Have you... This may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I, I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. Have we? I, I mean, I saw her in the last episode, right? Open neck lady. We have seen her. Oh, oh dear. I was afraid of this. How is my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She, she's lonely here. We haven't seen her for a little while. My my poor Sandy. She didn't deserve this. What is it that you were afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what exactly? Um, never mind. I'm just upset. That's all. Would, would you boys do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. Oh god, no. He's he's not gonna do something to himself, is he? The fuck? Another VHS. There's a tape here, but it's broken. Oh fuck. Not really getting good vibes from a lot of this floor. We should let Herman be alone. The poor dude is a wreck. Do you think the council will let him leave Knockville? I hope so, man. Has, hasn't he been through enough? Yeah, but if he was involved in the cult before his wife died, and then tried to get out, like we think he did, I'm sure they're keeping an eye on him. <laughs> You're probably right. But they've been quiet for so long now. Maybe they aren't operating anymore or whatever. Or maybe they've just been laying low, waiting for the right moment. Maybe. Either way, we will find them. I did these rooms, right? Yeah. Okay, I really have to pee. I drank a lot of stuff right at the start of this episode, and now I really, really gotta go. Remember to edit out this pee break. No Undertale situations again. Undertale? Undertale. <clears throat> Let's head up to floor five and see who's up there and what they're doing. This floor is currently being renovated. If you're safe, this still? Jesus. Huh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the birdcage. I never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it. Almost like someone had tried to open it. Hmm. I need a screwdriver or something to open this. Okay, so we need a screwdriver and we need a code. I don't know what the code for the... the floor panel is. And I'm also not any closer to figuring it out, either. So let's go to the basement, though. Holy shit, Pickle! You've made a mistake. What the hell, man? The, the end will be all, us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here. The darkness binds. Oh, fuck. Dude scared the shit out of me. I've caught that bum sleeping in here before. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like a crazy gibberish to me, man. I mean, he just vanished. Tooth! You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Larry. Please. That's five of five. Something E- oh wait, it's all laid out actually in order. E something S W? Is this the code for the... thing? Because no words end in SW. Hmm. Well, we're going to figure it out eventually, aren't we? Yes, we sure are. That's right, everybody. I 
There's a tape in the wall. No, oh, here we go. Back to the fun loving time. Hunger. Oh, it's the same person. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Okay, so she's trapped in some sort of freaky weird dimension. And I am out here being like, hi! Do you want tea? I'd love some, thank you. Milk, no sugar. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Last time I was here, Stacy was fucking me up. Stacy? Are you there? Nothing on the gear, boy. Stacy was always di difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Oh god, weird freaky hole in the wall. Why would you just go through it like that and not check? This is what I was afraid Herman was doing. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't had any, seen any sign of it for years now. <laughs> what if, like, we only wounded it, and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Kind of like Pennywise? Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. Okay. If demons are real and souls are real, do you think they are angels too? And like, heaven and hell, god and devil, is all of it real? I go back and forth and all of that, but I hope there is something good out there. Something better than us. I never used to believe in anything supernatural before. Now with everything we've seen, I'm not so sure what I believe in. Me too, Lar Lar. I've always had the feeling that there's something bigger going on. I just never really knew what it was or what it meant. I still don't. Okay. No! Oh. Just dropped my camera on the ground. Great. I love dropping expensive equipment that's probably broken. Well, better than me spilling my fucking drink all over it, which almost happened. Okay, so... I am still no closer to a lot of things. Megan? Hello? Are you with us? Nothing on the super gear boy. Hey, where did her necklace go? Huh. I didn't know it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Okay, so I'm missing a tooth, I'm missing a code, and I'm missing a screwdriver. Let's head back down to four and... See if Herman's doing anything. No. Okay. Let's go to the basement then. We must get something down here, at least a screwdriver. It's weird to be leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey. But it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time. So I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. Can't wait for that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you're just moving down the street. It's not like you're moving country or state or anything like that. Still. And I know I'm not going to- I'm not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. Okay, you just answered what I just said. 
It's a big change, Larry. It's, it's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah. I'm cool. Let's just keep looking around. Wow, oh, he's sad. I'm like tapping space the entire time I'm walking around. I don't know if you can hear it. Just because I don't know what's interactable now anymore, and some things don't say they're interactable, so... Just trying to make sure I have everything. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> you were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. That's sweet. Did you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you wanna hear it? Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! Fuck yeah, dude! Okay, let's go to the treehouse. We haven't been out here in a while. Not since the dude died. Yeah, whatever happened with that? The dude just died, and that was it. Took you a long time to climb that. Still can't believe my dad abandoned us. Doesn't feel like him. Doesn't feel real. I, uh, I don't. I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Tell him the truth. Look. It's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but... I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not to tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it is your father, then I... Well, I don't think he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. He crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Aren't you going to say anything about all this? This is weird. You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry. I swear. <laughs> Alright, dude. It's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're going to talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. Okay. I forget what happened with his dad. His, his dad wasn't the person that came up here. No. I can't remember who that was. I'm sorry, it's been a long time. I realized when I uploaded episode 3 that when I uploaded episode 2, it was like July 2017. It's been like a year and a half since I uploaded an episode compared to the last one, so... A lot of story is kind of going over my head. Alright, we're still not finding much. Is this it? Man, I thought I'd find a screwdriver or something down in the basement. Well, there's still more basement to explore. Or at least I get a code somewhere. Ah, toothy! What? No stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any, to tell you the tooth. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's this? One of five? Is that an N? Oh. News? N 
E W S something. I don't know. Maybe this is the code. E is like A B C D. E is four. Maybe. I don't know. We'll try that out when we get there. It didn't put that one in order though. I put that one at the end. Ah, hmm. oh, the trap door. Shit. I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. How convenient. We'll get back in there eventually, gamers. Alright. Okay, well that does it for the basement. We got all the teeth. What time is it? Oh, 2.30. I'm sorry, I had to. Um, Where was that? What floor was that on? I can't remember. I don't think it was on two. Okay, so the code wasn't the... The letters for the thing, unless they're jumbled around. I put in N-E-W-S, like news, to try and see if that was the code. Um, but I still have a blank burnt tooth, so I don't know if that's the one. Um, also, I said E was four, didn't I? A, B, C, D. I can't fucking alphabet, apparently. Um, unless it's... N was last, so maybe it's five, two, three, one, nine, one, four? No. Shit, I don't know what it is. I don't know what these teeth are for. I don't know what's happening with anything. Let's go back to... Okay, wait, let me just remember what room this is. Uh, it's on the second floor at least, two or three. Uh, let's go back to the fourth floor to see if Herman's doing anything. No. Well, shit, I don't know what to do now. Okay, I didn't get a screwdriver, but I do have a pocket knife. Oh! Okay, so this is upside down. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, it's north. Oh. Put that one in here. So, so, because the thing is upside down because the made in China one. So you go in the middle. Uh, east would be there and west. Ha! Whoa! I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just... Wait, where the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just, like, slept it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web. Uh, what? Never mind, we've got the key. Let's go check out the temple. Okay, we get to go back down into the hatchy door. I, and again, now I forget where the fuck that is. It's in the basement, right? Because we have to go down? in this room or the other room? Other room. Here we go. Nice! Back down into the murder dungeon we go! With the world's heaviest footsteps, I might add. Two hours later. Okay, everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for Addison Apartments, at least. What about all those teeth and the glowing birdcage thing and the key? I guess that was a little odd. <laughs> this feeling won't go away, either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. You may be right. I'll feel Todd in when he's home and we can come over later tonight with his gadgets. Okay, when is he out of class? He should be out by now, but I'm supposed to meet up with Ash, remember? Oh, right. You should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now, with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she tagged along, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like a year ago now. Seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget that we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. 
Ha! <laughs> How could I forget? Between you and Ash, I've got about a thousand texts about it. Well, we're just trying to keep up to date, you know? We have this WhatsApp group and we're just trying to be friends all together. Hey, Ashley. Sal. I'm so excited to see you. I've missed you so much. I, uh, I missed you too, Ash. Oh, You cut your hair. I like it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's easier for writing. I see you've changed your hair as well. Oh, Ash is a badass. Short-haired girl, fingerless glove, three-quarter length, ripped jeans, motorbike wearing, badass motherfucker right now. Oh, yeah, I guess. Looks rad. Though, I do kind of miss the pigtails. <laughs> Look at us go! Watch where your hands are there, Sal. I haven't been out to, to the lake since the last time we went there together. What's that? I said it's been a long time since I've been out to the lake. Me too. It's so nice out there. Peaceful. Just like bike riding. So peaceful. What? Oh, I thought you said something. Never mind. It's so peaceful. So... You and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was that all about anyway? Oh, stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah blah blah. And then it turned into a big argument as if it wasn't sad enough about grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Grr! Ah! <laughs> you better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. To say no monster y'all want to be messing with. <laughs> Damn is fighting words, Missy. I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? I've been having nightmares. I'm sorry. Are they as bad as before? They're different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worrying about anything? Sometimes if I'm worried about something or just struggling with something difficult, I'll get nightmares from that. Me too. Man, whenever I'm... Whenever I have something big going on in my life or any sort of like travel or anything coming up, I get... I get like... It's like a subconscious stress dream. I'm not like stressed out to the point where I'm like worrying all day or I'm panicking or anything like that. It's like a... It's just like a work mode type of stress. You know stuff needs to be done, you're getting it done, you're doing it, everything's fine. I'm good at my time management, I can get my shit done, I, I'm very on top of things. But it's just like, because of all the mental calories you're burning all the time, your brain just goes into overload. And then when you try and go to sleep, it's like, your brain's just, it's in work mode all the time. So it just starts dreaming about things. Some weird dreams. I had a dream the other night that I got stabbed in the face. And I, I have dreams like that often, because being stabbed is like one of my biggest fears, because it's just, it's horrible. It's a horrible way to get attacked. Um, and I, I was having a dream about something, things were going well, and I was out with friends, and I was hanging out, and... You know when you're hanging out with friends, but you're, they're not really your friends, but they are, they kind of have no faces. And I was doing that, and I was hanging out, and then, all of a sudden, these people were hanging around, and they were like, being really nice, but they, you could tell that they were kind of up to something, they were talking about something. And it was a weird, like... Oh, that's Jacksepticeye kind of talk. Um, which was a weird place for my brain to go. And then when we were leaving, I was like walking along and my friends were kind of ahead of me. And I was just kind of like, I think I was like on my phone. And one of them, one of the people from that group were like, Oh, hey, wait up. I wanted to say something to you. And when I turned around, they like grabbed my head and stuck a knife like right here. And then I like, I, and then they went ahead and like stabbed one of my friends or something. And I, it freaked me the fuck out. I like woke up from it immediately. And I, it was like... I don't know, it was like 6 a.m. when I woke up and I was just all kind of freaked out about it. And then I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to get out of that mindset. And it's a, if you ever have those kinds of dreams, a good um, tactic that I have is to kind of wake yourself up a small bit and like move around, move around, do a little bit of something. Not so much that you're going to wake up and not go back to sleep. But don't just wake up from the dream and think, oh God, that's weird and immediately drift back into sleep. Because for me, I just go back into that dream again. So for me, it's a good thing to kind of like, wake up and then like think about the dream and then kind of get it out of my head and like roll over move to a different part of the bed completely something like that and then my brain kind of like triggers itself to be like okay moving on but really freaked me out I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately 
doesn't make any sense because everything is fine. Everything should be good. Have you been taking those meds? Uh, yeah, well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression too, and she said the meds she takes help her a lot. I guess they do help, but they also make me feel numb inside. At least with the dread. I know it's real. Or at least, really me. I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, Sal. You better make sure you call me if you ever need help. Or even if you just need to talk. You know I'm always there for you, right? I know. Thanks, Ash. And I've said this before, but... You know you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. Yeah, don't forget what your real face is, Sal. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It's just you and me out here. No one else is around. That's sweet. How have you been? I've been okay, you know, but I'm starting to feel better now that I'm out of the city. I thought you liked the city. I love the city. It's just... It's great there and it's always cool things happening. I just... Don't love living there. It's so noisy all of the time and so crowded. You can't hear yourself think sometimes. I could see that. The longer you spend there, it starts to feel like you're losing your connection to nature. As weird as it sounds, I've been missing Knockville. I've missed the fresh air, the nature. I've missed seeing the stars at night and being able to hang with my friends. <laughs> We've missed you too, Ash. Though, I don't think we'll be seeing any stars tonight, not with this storm rolling in. I noticed that. Looks like we may get rained on. What about art school? I think I'm going to take some time off from school. I'm pretty burned out. Do you think you'll go back? Probably. I just need to figure some things out first. I might take a few classes at the community college and while I'm getting my shit together. Oh, that'd be cool. Larry is also thinking about going. He mentioned that. I was surprised. I didn't think he'd go the college route. Me neither. It could be like old times again. The whole crew back in school. Are you happy? Happy about what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I'm feeling a little off. Just don't... It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? This is a really nice, somber, subtle moment. It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's like this constant feeling of discomfort my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well? Well what? Let's do it. I don't know. Come on. I bet you'll feel better. Do it, Sal. Scream. Take off your mask. Ah! Jesus Christ. Sal's voice is a lot deeper than I expected it to be. Damn. Hey, Todd. Hey! You're back from your date with Ashley already? I don't think it was a... a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal. How did it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good to have her back. Indeed. Ashley is a good egg, and our investigations could benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, ad additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry, and I think that there's something weird going on in the apartments again. Oh, Larry and I. <laughs> I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect! This will give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure. Let me know whenever you're ready to head over. Will do! Sal! I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Oh, God. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey. Larry?
Oh God. Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Oh God, Larry.